morning. So for most of us, uh, with images of last January's storm still fresh in our memory, we're all aware of the power of the weather. And as Derek Johnson uh, recently shared, last year's storms caused millions of dollars of damage on the Central Coast. And though much has been done, um, there's still lots of local private property and critical infrastructure that are still vulnerable uh, to future storms. And while last year may have been a wake-up call for many, uh, the city of Pismo Beach has been taking measures to protect private property and critical infrastructure along the vulnerable stretch of coastline for several years. And so today I wanna to share with you how the city of Pismo Beach recently repaired and protected some critical infrastructure from the eroding power of the ocean. In 2017, coastal bluffs alongside Ocean Boulevard and Shell Beach collapsed during the storm. The collapse of the bluff threatened not only the road, but also the sewer and gas line underneath. In addition, a stairway uh, to the beach was damaged to the point that it was no longer safe to use. Also, a section of storm drain collapsed with the bluff. This project has uh, had many engineering and construction challenges, the first being the corrosive environment salt water, wave impacts, and the constant abrasion of the water and sand washing and rubbing against the wall had to be accounted for. The materials used had to be specially selected to withstand the corrosive environment. This project was a big endeavor and understandably the city wanted it to last a long time, even if it costs more and takes longer to build up front. I don't wanna bore you with too much technical information but I do want to give you a brief description of what went into this project. So the bluff was stabilized through a combination of drilled and cast piles. So these are long vertical holes that are drilled deep into the bedrock and then filled with reinforced concrete. Also used for horizontal tiebacks. So these are holes that are drilled horizontally deep into the bluff and then large steel cables are grouted uh, and tensioned in those holes. And then lastly, a two and a half foot thick concrete wall was uh, placed in the front. Stabilizing the bluff required construction well below the high tide line. Uh, it required protecting work while the concrete cured or hardened. It required working during low tides whenever possible, sometimes requiring work during early morning and evening hours. Equipment had to be lowered onto the beach and then lifted back up each day. It required constant dewatering, that's pumping the water out that seeped into the excavated work area. During the project, uh, the power of the waves was a sight to behold. Temporary barriers were constructed to hold back the sea and protect workers in the work area, but these barriers had to be re rebuilt regularly. During the winter months, uh, the waves would completely destroy these barriers every week. Historical practices at the site created another challenge. In the early 20th century, people would come to clam, and they often left behind piles of rubbish and trash, which was sometimes burned. The problem with this is uh, the old trash often contained lead, which is a hazard for workers and wildlife. And though the, the rubbish has been uh, buried over time, during construction, it would sometimes be exposed, and then would have to be specially removed and disposed of. The buried rubbish also uh, creates pockets of instability, which um, had to be addressed. The final challenge I wanna share with you is uh, funding and regulatory permits. So of course, doing these sorts of repairs is extremely expensive. Uh, the construction cost for this particular project was around five million. Uh, the city was able to secure uh, federal emergency relief funding for a portion of the cost, but also contributed a significant amount of Getting Coastal Commission approval is, uh, can, can be the most challenging part of the project. Um, the Coastal Commission added several conditions, um, and these included requiring, requiring that the city repair uh, and replace the beach access stairs. Um, the stairs weren't covered by the federal funding, uh, which could only be used to protect and repair the road. Uh, the, the wall was required to look natural, so the outer surface of the seawall was carved, colored, and stained to try to mimic the natural rock and, and geologic formations as much as possible. Even the new stairs had to be oriented in a way to hide them from view when on the beach. Lastly, they required that the project only repair and fortify that absolute minimum amount of bluff necessary, 
And so as the photos flash on the screen, you'll see that there's small sections of natural bluff in the middle of the, of the new seawall. And someday in the future, these sections of bluff will, will likely also collapse and the city will need to come back and fill these in. Um, and so meeting all these conditions, you know, adds time, cost, and effort, but there's a lot of value as well. Uh, many of us are glad that it's more aesthetically pleasing than just a flat gray concrete wall. And uh, I'm definitely glad that the beach access was restored. Uh, so despite all these challenges, uh, the work was completed. And so now hopefully this section of bluff and critical infrastructure is uh, protected from future storm damage for decades to come. So thank you.